Ladies and gentlemen, I am Sid Alpha, and I'm going to be blunt with you. I honestly did not hold much interest in recording a video on this topic. The primary reason being this involves the culture war and how zealots and ideologues will stop at nothing to destroy the targets of their ire, and as such, I didn't really see much connection to consumer awareness, and I knew this video would cause both myself and my viewers untold grief due to the extreme, let's call it emotionalism, of those on the far left that are involved here. However, I am myself a firm believer of keeping your culture war out of my video games, and as I am equally despised by both the ideological far left and the alt right, I'm in a somewhat unique position to discuss this topic knowing full well that both sides hate me and I have nothing to gain nor anything to necessarily lose by doing so. Because, let's face it, they certainly can't despise me any more than they already do, and their previous Twitter assaults in an effort to discredit and defame me in the past have proved completely ineffectual. So what has been going on here? Well, let me outline the particulars and then I will provide my thoughts on the matter. Now, all of this surrounds the former GOG community manager, Sean Halliday. This was the person responsible for the recent controversial Twitter posts made by GOG.com. Those tweets included a GIF from the video game Postal in which it makes a joke reference to Gamergate and has the character urinating on the gravestone of games journalism. And then the GOG Twitter post stating classic PC games hashtag won't be erased on our watch. As a result of the backlash those posts gathered, Halliday was let go from GOG.com and was doxxed by members of the website Reset Era, a very far left-leaning community forum. After being let go, Halliday was subsequently hired by James Hambly of The Quartering to be the community manager for their upcoming project Exclusively Games. Now, Exclusively Games currently has an Indiegogo campaign that sits at the time of this recording as having been successfully funded and is now meeting stretch goals at over $60,000 with two days remaining on the campaign. We then have the Daily Dot posting a highly inflammatory article that, within that article, they attempt to label Halliday and the quartering as Gamergate, citing an article written by Halliday in which he was critical of Jonathan McIntosh and Anita Sarkeesian. Failing to do that, they chided Eurogamer for not painting Halliday as being, quote, Gamergate adjacent. Now, in addition to that, the Daily Dot posted a now deleted tweet in which they posted a fake image of Halliday, where the day before they posted the same image discussing a man that responded to his local police department's Facebook page in turning himself in. As a result of the misinformation being spread and the doxing, Halliday, as well as his parents, have received a fair amount of harassment. And it is due to that harassment and the continued campaigning of the far left and the sites like The Daily Dot that, as reported by The Quartering, Halliday has stepped down as community manager for exclusively games and has presumably will no longer be working within the industry. And that's about all I really want to get into. I know it's a pretty bare bones overview, but when you're dealing with a topic such as this, it's very easy to get buried in the nuance and resort to pages and pages of this person said this, this person said that, and through it all, what you will end up with is an opinion born of frustration. And that singular frustration can resort to a very emotional response, which is what we saw from the quartering. And quite frankly, I'm not surprised he's angry. And what this all boils down to is a community manager made a couple of tweets that some people found to be insensitive, in part because of a lack of awareness over what a single hashtag was already being used for, and also for posting a gif from a video game that depicts something that games journalism has painted to be the gaming boogeyman. So when we look at all of this, we have a couple of questions to ask. First is what is happening to Halliday fair or even right? The second question we have to ask is what will happen in the future as a result of all of this? And then thirdly, what does this mean for gamers? So to answer the first question, is this right? I would have to say pretty easily with no, not at all. You see, this person posted a couple of tweets and lost his job due to the resultant outrage over what equates to something minor. He is then doxxed, harassed, his family harassed, and then seemingly defamed by the Daily Dot and members of an ideological group. That same ideological group have since redoubled their efforts in what would appear to be a successful smear campaign executed with the sole ideal of hounding this person out of the industry, destroying his livelihood, essentially destroying his life, and all based on a presupposition of moral and ethical superiority over a social and or political ideology, and all of it over two posts on a social media platform online. Then we have the second question, what will happen in the future as a result of this? Well. These social ideologues have destroyed a person's life and livelihood. 
If I were him, I would be looking into a few dozen lawsuits based on libel. However, it would seem that Halliday just doesn't want to deal with the abuse any longer, and frankly, I don't blame him. It's a lot to deal with, and while I myself have been unsuccessfully targeted in the past, I can reasonably assume I only caught a mere glimpse of what he and his parents have been forced to deal with as a result of this ideological outrage. But in regards to the website, I can only assume that this situation will blow up in the face of those trying to destroy its reputation before it even launches. It has already been funded, and Hambly has also stated that he will be matching the Indiegogo funds raised in order to make certain the site kicks off on the right foot. And then thirdly, what does this mean for gamers? Well, bit of a mixed bag, really. First, we have a community manager drummed out of the industry over the outrage sparked by two Twitter posts. The ideologues responsible will undoubtedly chalk that up as a win and will be emboldened to further their goals of pushing their social or political agenda into even more spheres of influence. Every victory they gain based on outrage and emotion drags video games as an industry further into the muck of the culture war, something that should be absolutely avoided. Now, I have also had several people ask me specifically if I would be willing to write for exclusively gaming, and in all honesty, I have considered it, albeit cautiously. Now, I'm extremely wary of aligning myself with any entity due to the considerations of the tacit approval of actions and ideas that are not my own. That was the same reason I refused to align myself with the remnants of Gamergate, and also why I don't align myself with any group or movement. The moment you do, you're saying to a lesser extent that you accept and agree with the actions and opinions of others, and that is something that I fervently wish to avoid. So I'm still considering it, and I would even be willing to discuss the exclusively gaming project with the quartering, and at the very least, it might be something I could at least support from the outside. It would be worth discussing because I too feel that politics and forced ideology should not inject themselves into every facet of gaming as they are currently trying to do. But as always, please do let me know what you think down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Links to my social media, Discord, and Patreon are down in the description below. If you like what I do on this channel, consider giving them a look. And also consider subscribing, liking, and sharing this video if at all possible. Every little bit helps, and we are actually closing in on that 100,000 subscriber goal. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, I am Sid Alpha, and I'll see you next time.